so I'm going to show you guys how I transformed this dresser into a beautiful mirrored dresser. So first, I decided to remove the knobs, which was very easy. Before we did anything to the dresser, we went to Home Depot to purchase a sander. We thought by using the sander, it would buff out the wood a little bit. It was actually a vinyl finish on the dresser. It wasn't real wood at all. We continued to buff it out a little bit, but as you can see, it did not work at all. It only produced a lot of dust. So apparently my boyfriend thought I was doing it wrong. So he jumped in and tried to do it himself, but he got the same result as me. Always listen to me, babe. So now we're just gonna wipe it down. We use alcohol to do this. We purchased this spray bottle from Family Dollar, as well as this microfiber washcloth. We did test paint pieces of the dresser before we buffed out the entire dresser. Before painting your dresser, you want to make sure that it's completely clean. I wanted to take all of the necessary steps before painting so that the paint will actually stick to the dresser. I want the best results possible. So when you're painting the dresser, you want to make sure that you can get everything that's visible. Like the trimming of everything, the sides, the top. Make sure you get the legs at the bottom, the inside of the legs. So with the drawers, we really didn't have to paint every inch of the drawer because we are putting the mirror on top. But since we did have four cans of spray paint, we decided to just go ahead and paint every side. Each spray can was around six to seven dollars. I will add the link to the spray paint we purchased from Lowe's in the description box. So we want the Lowe's to purchase the mirror. I believe every Lowe's have the glass cutting section. So on the aisle, it will have the glass cutting in red. You just go to that aisle, you press the button so that someone can come assist you. They do have a chart with the different size of mirror that you can purchase. You get the size closer to your measurements and they'll cut it into the size that you need. I'm just recording the mirror. Because <laughs> I can see you, that's why. <laughs> wow! Okay! We did purchase the Gorilla Glue from Lowe's only. I see about. I'm actually not sure. Five, eight dollars or something like that. I will leave the link in the description box. So yeah, my boyfriend applied the Gorilla Glue to the back of the mirrors and he did put a generous amount so that it would stick to the drawers. 2,000 years later. So this process did take a while because he wanted to make sure everything was good. Um, it was sticking and all of that good stuff. So 
So here is when we started putting the border around the mirror. Um, we did this because the mirror is really sharp and we didn't want it to cut us. We used E6000, we got this from Lowe's. Um, I will leave the link in the description box. We got the sticks from Lowe's as well. We did have to cut them down into the size that we needed. So here's the final look of the dresser. I'm so glad we decided to dress dresser ourselves. It saved us a lot of money. We did get the knobs from Amazon. I will leave the link in the description box. If you would like to see me make the nightstand to go with this dresser as well as the chest, please subscribe to my channel. I will upload more videos. Please leave in the comment section if you enjoyed this video and please like this video as well. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.